So if you struggle with hollow rocks, which I expect you do because they're quite hard, um, and they're, they're much harder than they, can, than they sometimes they look, so don't be surprised if you find them difficult, but they're worth practicing and they're worth, worth persevering with. Um, they're a very transferable skill and they are a skill, okay, so they are, they are a movement that you have to learn how to do. It's not just about, you know, is your core strong enough? So when you do your hollow rocks and you get a little bit better at them, they're going to di directly transfer over to other gymnastic skills, um, like handstands, for example. Uh, they, they transfer over to, to everything really that you do in CrossFit, so your ability to like switch your abs on and uh, get global muscle recruitment, which is like muscle rec recruitment through the whole of your body, uh, that's a big deal. Um, so, when... Mushroom. Just may have to go a wee bit of an angle here. Okay, so that angle. I'll face the camera. Um, <clears throat> so when you go to do these, I'll show you what a hollow rock is first of all. She may be sitting there going, "What the hell? Why is, why is she bigging this up?" Okay, so it doesn't look that bad. Okay, so that's your hollow rock. Now, in order to get into that position. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to sit up with your legs straight and your toes pointed. Now I want you to point your toes as hard and as far away from you as you can. Like you're trying to push your big toe down out through the bottom of your shoe. I want you to push your knees together, push your thighs together and squeeze your bum. So everything from your toes up to your butt is now switched on. This is part of that global muscle recruitment thing I was talking about. From here, you're going to tighten your lower abs and you're going to start to roll from your bottom vertebrae back. Now you're going to maintain that position in your legs while you do that. And as you roll back, keep your chest tucked forward. As you roll back, you should find that your feet lift up off the ground and the only thing touching the ground is your butt. Now, in order to rock, make sure that you initiate the movement from your toes and not from your upper body. If you initiate from your upper body, you're going to be like a, like a beached dolphin. Um, you're just going to be a seal dolphin. Oh, confused now. Um, anyway, it's not going to work. So, if you find rocking with your hands up above your head difficult, try putting them down by your sides, okay? You might find that a little bit easier, okay? Now, if you can't rock, don't worry. Then what you're going to try and do... Got a few options for you. What you're going to try and do is you're going to try and, uh, you're not going to try, you're, well you are going to try and hold a hollow position, sorry. Um, you're going to set the clock, I was going to say you're going to try and set the clock. That's today's challenge, try and set your clock for five minutes. <laughs> sometimes that is a challenge, uh, sometimes everything's a challenge. Right, so set your clock for five minutes and just try and hold as much of a hollow position for as much of that time as you can. Now you can either do that with your hands down by your side or with your hands up above your head. Okay, and just try and hold that hollow position for as much of the five minutes as you can. Uh, you might want to take notes of that, like 10 seconds, 30 seconds, you know, what, however many blocks, and uh, accumulate time. And then if you want to put a score in, in sugar wad, just so that you've got a record, um, just put, uh, so it'll ask you to, for a time. So just put, you can just put the five minutes and then put notes, it'll look like you did uh, 100 hollow rocks in five minutes and everybody will be super impressed. No, that's fine though, you can just put five minutes and then put, put, uh, put how much time you accumulated in those five minutes, right, that'll do, do it that way. I'll know what it means. So, if you struggle with that hollow hold, okay, so you're struggling with this hollow hold, then what you can do is you can try bringing one knee up and having one leg extended, okay, and just try holding that. So all the time you're trying to keep your uh, upper back, your shoulder blades, just off the ground, okay, so you're pulling down from here at your ribs, you're crunching down. So you're trying to keep the hip joint open, okay, so you're trying to keep this a, a open joint, and instead you're crunching from here, okay, so you're pulling your chest, towards your pelvis. Okay, shoulder blades are off the ground. Um, if you still find that difficult with one leg tucked in, 
Okay, then you can try tucking both legs in and then you're in this little tuck position here. Now, don't just lie there, okay? You're trying to reach your hands as far down by your sides as you can and trying to get that feeling of bracing your abs, pulling your sternum towards your belly button and trying to curl your upper back off the ground. Uh, and you can just score that the same way the five minutes and, and hold that. So, that's your scaling, that's your options. I implore you to actually do this and not just watch the video, okay? Give it a go. You will never, sorry, I'm cleaning the floor. <laughs> um, you, you will never get hollow rocks without practicing them, okay? Um, I have done thousands of them, easily thousands, because I've done lots of sets of 100 thousands of them. Um, periodically I go through uh, weeks where I do 100 hollow rocks a day. Um, 200 a day sometimes, that was a thing. That was, that was a thing at one time. Uh, so 100 is really good, that's a nice number to aim for. Right, give it a go guys, it's worth it, I promise you, it's Friday. You can play with your adult friends. This I'm going to, what? I was going to say something about drinking, but I'm like, I don't, I don't support alcoholism. Have a small drink with your adult friends. Playing with your adult friends sounded like I was telling you to do something else entirely. I'm really going to stop. Bye. 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 Happy Friday. <laughs>